What's going on everybody? Let me show you how to replace a control box on this Friedrich Pizza unit. Let's go ahead and start off by removing the touchpad. Disconnect the wiring. After that, let's remove the cover on the side here. We also need to remove the power cord cover. After that, I'll remove the power cord clamp and disconnect the power cord. There's two screws on the top of the control box that I need to remove. And I have to remove the last screw above the power cord connection. Once you got all the screws removed, the box is gonna lean forward a little bit, but it's still mounted on that tab system they got there in the back. So to remove it from the tabs, obviously push up and the box comes out. Let's get the blower and the heater coil disconnected. Remove the security tab with some pliers or your finger. We also need to detach the thermistors from the coils. All right, so now for the wiring. So we need to disconnect the compressor and the outdoor motor. So let's start off with the condenser motor, which is gonna be these two wires from the capacitor and the ground wire. Then we have two wires from the compressor at the silver capacitor, which is gonna be the blue wire and the yellow wire. At the main relay board, we need to disconnect the red wire that comes from the compressor and also the black one that comes from the condenser motor. Just an FYI, you guys, the terminals on this Frederick Pizza unit comes with a little tab, so you press on it and you can disconnect it. Now we can take out the wires. Almost forgot, we also need to remove the outdoor coil thermistor. To remove these, you just simply press the tab and disconnect. So I got the bad one out, and this is the good one I'm gonna be using. Now from here, I'm just simply gonna reverse the steps to get the control box installed. Reconnect the compressor capacitor, condenser motor, motor capacitor, thermistor, Compressor on the relay. And ground wire. Now we can work on putting the box back into place. Don't forget to remove the wiring out of the way. And let's go ahead and connect them. Make sure the box is mounted correctly. Secure that control box and we're ready to put the covers back on. Let's put the thermistors back in place. And reconnect the display port. Now we can reconnect the unit. And let's go ahead and test it. And this unit is ready to go.